Okay, let's get started. In this video, I'm going to talk about the differences between the new AM5N and the original AM5. From an unboxing perspective, I just received uh, the mount today, and um, I just wanted to uh, point out a couple of differences. Hi, I'm Bill, and welcome to the channel. And I also received my ASI 2600, the new filter wheel, and the new filters, but I'll go through that in a, in a different video. Uh, the first thing I wanted to uh, point out, when I received the box, you know, when I look at the packaging, it says AM5, and I was expecting maybe for it to say AM5N. Um, you know, everything is just the AM5. And at first I thought, okay, did they send me the older version? Um, I had missed a note that Agena Astro, which was the uh, vendor I purchased from, uh, has on there that, please note, all the boxing and everything is going to have just AM5, not the AM5N on it. So there's a good explanation there. On the outer box, there is a place where there's a barcode, and I don't know if you can see it, but it does say AM5N. So I expect they're just, you know, they're packaging, they're still using the packaging that they have, and they haven't updated the uh, uh, the printing yet on their, on their boxes. One other thing is this uh, case that it comes in now, uh, feels kind of like a uh, black styrofoam case. The other one that I got, the original one, uh, was a cloth version. Uh, no big deal there. Um, this new mount is going to be going into the Starfront uh, observatories on, onto a pier, so I'm not, I'm not going to need to have that case. I'll keep it in case I ever sell this mount. So, um, let's just go over a couple of things. Um, one thing I noticed on the new AM5, the graduations are on the back here uh, where you can see it and there's a, a white arrow to help you understand where you're at. Um, where the old one had the graduations uh, along the side here and there was a little uh, screw in there that you had to kind of look at which was kind of hard to look at at night uh, to see where you're at relative to elevation. Um, the other thing is there's a plug here it says DC 12 volt 3 amp on the original version And now on the uh, new AM5, uh, there's a uh, port here that says DC 12 volt. It doesn't have an amp rating. And it also has a USB-C um, connection there. And they provide a uh, USB-C to USB-A cable. So I guess... Um, going to be connecting something in there and then when it comes to this uh, elevation uh, configuration this is uh, about a quarter inch shorter so it's not as long and these bolts don't stick out as far uh, this is the new one so uh, that was always a concern for me on the old mount they kind of stick out far and so when it comes to cable management um, you had to be uh, careful and mindful of those. The front is essentially the same, your USB, auto guide port, hand controller, and then a DC 12 volt 5 amp port where you could uh, plug in your power. Um, uh, that's the same as the uh, original so those are just kind of the the initial differences that I see. 
I wanted to uh, bring that to your attention. Uh, I don't want to say I was freaking out when I saw the inner box and it said just AM5. I thought, oh man, maybe they sent me the wrong stuff. But uh, uh, then I went back to Gina just to confirm what I had ordered. And I also then pulled out the packing slip and clearly I ordered the AM5. So my um, next, my next step will be to get this powered up. Oh, one more uh, thing that I wanted to call out, which always drove me crazy about the original AM5. There's these things here that when you're adjusting your east-west, uh, after you do that, you, you lock it down. And when you locked it down, it kind of threw your polar alignment off. And in the, um, in this version, there doesn't seem to be anything to lock. Now there is a Allen wrench down here, but there's nothing to lock. Um, so, you know, we'll see how that works in, uh, we'll see how that works in practice, but, um, weight wise, I haven't weighed them. Internally, I have no idea what the difference, internally, I have no idea what the differences are yet. Uh, I'll figure that out. But my next goal is to uh, put this on my pier and get this new one uh, powered up tonight, let it uh, kind of burn in, uh, get onto it and see what, uh, what the, uh, uh, it looks like once I'm onto, uh, onto the device make sure that I can connect it into Nina and uh, PhD2, and I'll do some of those things there. But um, this new one, the AM5N, is the mount that I'll use at Stark Front Observatories uh, for my uh, Celestron Edge HD8. And I will run this with the counterweight bar and counterweight uh, when it's uh, up and on the pier. So, all right, just wanted to give you a heads up. Don't freak out if you order one and you take out the inner packaging and you didn't carefully read the vendor website, which I did not carefully read, that uh, would have warned me in advance that, yeah, all the uh, markings are going to be AM5. Uh, but I just thought I would share that. So, all right, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. I am going to be um, installing the uh, 2600, the SI 2600MM. Um, I want to thank uh, Johnny Bravo, who uh, has given me some really good uh, feedback on this um, model of camera and uh, what I need when it comes to calibration frames and whatnot. So, uh, John, that, that's a big help. I sure appreciate you uh, reaching out to me and uh, sharing that information with me. So, I will be getting that uh, camera, the filter wheel, and the filters up and running. And then, uh, before this goes into the observatory, I imagine I will work on filter offsets and that kind of stuff, but that'll be a, a different video. So, all right, once again, if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. I got a lot of work to do to get both scopes yet, uh, and mounts ready to be, uh, driven down to the observatory. Uh, but, uh, I will get it all done and share what I'm doing along the way through the series of videos that I'm doing uh, that will be in the remote observatory playlist on my Astro Vagabond channel. So, all right, thanks again for dropping in. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And wherever you're at, I hope you've got uh, clear skies. Till next time.